Sean's dad. Matter of fact, I was talking to Sean's dad. We had a plumbing problem in the basement up under our zinc. That's been a problem pretty much the whole time we've been in, we've been in the church. And it would have been like seven or eight hundred dollars to have a plumber come out and do all of that. He said, uh, "I think I can take care of it." He came in on his birthday, worked ten or twelve hours, took care of not only the the pipes under the zinc, but other issues that were under the zinc, and would not take one quarter. Would not take one dime. Would not take one dime. So then y'all know the, the, the light outside on the porch, it was holding on for dear life. It was on, on life support and could not be resuscitated. So I was telling Sean's dad, Brother Jim, about that. And so Reverend had, given, Reverend had replaced the light on the side because it matched the light on the front. So Sean's daddy, Brother Jim, once again, came out. It was freezing cold. And I was like, why don't you go inside and say, I got to get it done. Came inside finally, and all of his fingertips were about to break off. And we had to put the, the heater in front of him. But he not only came, replaced that light, that light out there not hanging, he replaced that light. Say amen, somebody. And then there's wires that used to be exposed to the exit light. He came in and did that. Then he went upstairs, we had lights out on the upper level in the exercise, he replaced both of those. And now when you come in at night, this porch used to be dark, now it's a light that goes off in the day and it lights up in the night so you can feel secure when you come into the church. And the other thing, I just threw it out there. I said, you don't know anything about a timer, do you? Because we used to have a timer on our side. And then he said, uh, let me look at it. I said, oh no, he said, let me look, okay, I'll let, I'll let you look at it. He looked at it, he said, okay, you have a knob that's missing on your timer. He said, I'm going to go and order that part and find it. And even while when he called Sean, came, put the part up. So if you come up here at nighttime, the sign lights up again. Give God some praise. So I just want to say thank you to Brother Jim Kelly. Thank you to Sister Carla Kelly for letting us borrow your husband. And thank you, Deacon Sean, for sharing your father. Give all of the Kellys a hand. Give God some praise. Amen. Amen. God always got a ram in the bush. And for none of that, none of that, he would not take a dime. So I, I'm going to make sure that he get a copy of this to know that we truly appreciate it. My grandmother taught me a long time ago, people don't have to be nice. And when they choose to be nice, they don't have to be nice to you. And in our, in, in our scenario, they don't have to be nice to us. So we saved a ton of money that we did not have, money that we would have to borrow. He is an honorary member of our church. I love this brother as a brother from another mother. Now I understand where our deacon and audiovisual guy gets his heart and his passion. And so right now, I want to pay a tribute to Sean's father. Amen, amen. That's where Sean got them good looks from. He didn't just wake up looking like that. That's where he got them good looks. 